jobs random stuff took a little break for vacation during the summer so today i'm going to do another take on my own shrimp fried rice it's not your traditional chinese version but pretty close so we'll take the temperature here the infrared running 440 430 so that's fine we're gonna lose a little temperature i'm gonna start off first just a bit of vegetable oil for the rice this is ice cold rice dried with the lid off for a few hours you want it nice and cold and dry very important you want to use some kind of sticky rice it works a lot better but you definitely want to make sure it's you know, we can use it all cold and dry very important I'm going to hit it with some chicken stock, any old chicken stock. I use a low sodium stuff. That'll get some flavor, get it going. This is just garlic, salt, pepper, and ginger mixed in here. I'm going to hit that up. Liberally spice. All right, I'm going to get that covered. A little more of this, get some steam. Get a crisp on that. Next, some fresh green beans. This is right on the grill for now. I'll show you what we'll do with those in a minute. Next, some chopped onions. Get those nice and seared. You hit these with just a bit of butter. Get them going there, get a little flavor. Hit it with a little bit of spice. Robert, you smell that? How's it smell? It smells good. The cameraman. See, onions are really smelling good already. So we're going to hit this also with just a bit of stock, a bit of oil. Get those really going. And come over here. Actually, you know what? we're going to leave that. We'll let this fizzle away. Next. We're going to get our shrimp. And we'll throw those on in a minute. So now we're going to add the shrimp. Nothing crazy. These are frozen shrimp. They work. You can get fresh shrimp if you want. We'll put a lot of shrimp in our shrimp fried rice. We we'll try to get a nice sear on these. It's smelling great. I'm gonna let the water evaporate a bit. I'll go ahead and hit these with a good amount of butter. Get that going in there. That milk. Again, this is probably still temperature may have dropped a bit. Let's check. Maybe we dropped pretty good right here. We're at 375. Still plenty hot. Over here we're 400. So we're good. All right, so we're gonna let these sizzle away. We'll hit these with a little spice. Garlic, salt, pepper, ginger. Let's check on our rice. Throw these over here. Rice is looking pretty good. We're also going to hit the rice with some butter. A lot of butter in this. Kind of a P.F. Chang's recipe. You can see we're already getting a little crisp on this. That's what we want. I'm going to try to spread this out. Get the butter on the bottom here, we'll let that melt. Again, we're cooking in the Camp Chef FTG 600, four burner. It's been a good grill so far. It's been a bit dormant this summer. I've been concentrating on uh, cooking on the charcoal with the Weber. But uh, I figured I'd break this out, give a little vid. Just gonna do a tiny bit of oil. I'm gonna hit this with some soy sauce. A bit. Oh, gonna take this as a brand new one. Take the cover off. 
no big deal. Low sodium, important, otherwise it's too salty. All right, so let that sizzle up. Just gonna keep the cover off of that actually. The veggies are looking good. All right, gonna get a close up on those. These are looking really good. I got a little sear on these. Onions are breaking down. Good. See, this grill's got plenty of size on it. This is a pound and a half at least of shrimp. Two and a half, three cups of rice after it was cooked. So there's plenty of room on here to cook a large meal. If you want to have parties or whatever. You can always go for the 900 version, the extra burner, but for the most part, you don't need it. All right, so we're gonna let these shrimp cook up, get a crust on them, and uh, we'll cut back in a few right, minutes. Guys, let's have a look at this rice. Got a nice crust on there. Zoom in on this Robert. Watch your, don't burn yourself. You got a nice crust. All right, you're good, Robert, thank you. All right, so this is looking really nice. See our veggies are looking over here, these are looking nice. See how everything's broken down. So we go ahead, bring your veggies over. Shrimp are still trying to get our nice crust on. Let's just move these over for a second. Just have a ways to go. Let's keep those cooking along there. So what we're gonna do, flip this in. Really starts to come to life at this point. Getting there. Starting to really look like shrimp fried rice. Minus the shrimp at this point. Again, this is not your typical Chinese restaurant fried rice. This is my version. I don't put egg in it. I'm not a big fan of eggs. Either most of the people in my family so we don't do eggs anything like that so we're gonna hit this with a bit more chicken stock really get that going some nice heat through there got a nice little hoisin sauce this is like a sweet bean paste that's all you need you don't need too much and maybe a little more that's it just enough kind of my secret ingredient it's really good Again, it's the brand. Really good stuff. It's pretty salty, so you don't want to uh, go too crazy on that. We're going to leave that there because we don't want it to burn on the grill because there's a lot of sugar in there and stuff. Another ingredient. Frozen peas. We're going to put those in at the end because we don't want them to get mushy. They're still frozen solid. Keep those on the bottom shelf. So let's see what these shrimp are looking like. I'm going to crank the heat over here actually to medium high. Get these going. We really want these. We don't need, we don't need them uh, browned or charred. We just want them nice cook through on them. Keep them moist. And you don't want chewy shrimp. So, all right, we're going to let these shrimp sizzle away for a while. We'll cut back. We'll combine everything together and we'll plate guys, it up. We're back. See these shrimp are done. Before we get started with the final combination here, like, subscribe the channel, tell your friends about us. We're back from vacation, so we're going to be filming lots more videos. We're going to do some more Cam Chef cooks, of course. Plenty more Weber kettle cooks. Everybody seems to be enjoying those. So basically, we're just going to combine these. See that's really shaping up. Looks delicious. And as I said before, we get our frozen peas. Doesn't matter if they're frozen solid because they're gonna melt in two seconds. Once we toss these in. Again, frozen peas seem to work better than the canned stuff. So number one, they're less salty. Number two, they don't get as mushy. 
the ones that are sitting in a can full of water or oil or whatever they pack them in. So you can see we'll make a little thing here. Everything combined. See how good that's looking. How's that look, Robert? Pretty good. All right. So we're gonna plate this up. Got our plate handy. See if I can not spill half of it on the ground. Make sure you get yourself a good spatula like this. It doesn't have to be any major brand, just a long spatula. Helps you with pretty much everything cooking on this thing. This one's the Camp Chef model. I got it. Package feel with the cover. A couple spatulas and a flipper. So, as you can see, we are good. Looking delish. Smells ridiculous. All right. Like, subscribe, check in for new videos, hit that notification bell. We're going to go uh, eat some shrimp fried rice. Again, my style, not Chinese restaurant style. See you on the next cook.